it's day 38, and we're going to see how strings and loops can combine together for more superpowers. So since I've given it away and shown you that strings are basically lists in disguise, uh, they're not Transformers, no Optimus Prime here, but because of that, that means that a lot of the tricks that we've used to iterate through lists actually work with strings. So let's see what we mean. In this example, I'm going to ask the user to type in any string they want, and then I'm going to use a for loop to iterate through it. Now, take a look at the variable I'm creating in that for loop. For letter in my string. That means I'm going to create a variable called letter, and it's going to go through every element of the string. Every element is each individual position, which means I should print out the letters and symbols from the string, one after each other in a list. And I've transformed my string into single letters being printed out. Now this is quite cool because that means I can do certain things to certain letters. So in this piece of code, I've got an if statement inside that loop. For every letter, I'm going to look at the lowercase version of the letter. And if it's an A, I'm going to change the color of the text to yellow first. Outside of the loop, I'm still printing each letter and turning it back to the normal color afterwards. But whatever sentence you type in, we should be able to pick up our letter A in yellow. There you go. The A's have been picked up in yellow. Now this is particularly powerful because we could do something like this. Now what I'm saying is if the letter I find, the lowercase version anyway, is in that list of vowels, print it out in yellow. So now I'm able to do that. And I can even add the fantastic ending system here so that I can get them all as individual words. Which is quite a cool way to do something like that and to identify things. Now you can imagine this being used in a kid's game to identify the vowels for them to help them out, or you could be using it in something a bit more exciting. It's also worth pausing here to show you something else that I've added to the code, and I'm using comments. Now comments are just little bits of information for me, not meant for the computer at all. The way I add in a comment is by putting a hash symbol before anything, and anything on that line that comes after the hash symbol is just a note to me. The computer ignores it. I can have a line that just has a comment on it, or a line that has code and then a comment on it. But it's a nice way of just putting some notes on there, and in particular here, because I can never remember what the print codes for color mean, just to show me what's going on. If you see comments in the code from now on, you'll know what they are, but it's also a good way to add information that you'll need to remind yourself what you've done. There isn't a great deal that can go wrong with this, so we haven't got any of those exercises today, but we do have time for the challenge. Your challenge is this. What I'd like you to do is ask the user to type in any sentence whatsoever, and then we're gonna use a colored ratchet. But what does that mean? That means the moment they type in an R, every letter from that point forward will be red. Same with blue. The moment they type in a B, every letter from that point forward should be blue. Now it should not be turned off. So what we should end up with is a sentence that looks pretty cool. Extra points if you can turn off the color and put it back to normal every time we detect a space. So the only words that contain those letters should look like a beautiful multicolored mess. Now, yes, you got me. This challenge today is just a silly little challenge as a bit of fun, but it is meaningful because if you can pick up individual letters within a string using a loop, you will have a lot of power over what you can do with it. Don't forget to share it with us in the community by hitting publish and using the hashtag replit 100 days of code so we can find your amazing work and see if your rainbow mess is a wonderful mess. Tomorrow, you're going to be building Hangman. Not, we're not going to be hanging a man. I just want to be clear. We're going to be building the game, the children's game, Hangman. <sighs> I can't believe I had to clarify that.